2021 is your year. It's time you get your first dunk. And you can definitely do it by 2021 if you start right now. What is good, guys? Welcome back to Dunk Tip Tuesday. Every freaking Tuesday, we got a new dunk tip. What's up? My name is Steven. I dunk. I want to help you guys. This is the segment, the series on my channel where I answer the most common questions. But this episode is a special episode. First episode of 2021. I want to give my best advice I possibly can. It's been over four years since my very first vlog, which was how to jump higher. My best advice at the time. Some of those principles hold true. Some of them I learned. There's a lot I wish I knew. So let's get into it. First things first. Even if you can't touch the rim, I truly believe it's possible you can dunk by the end of the year. A year is a long time. There's so many things to work on. And that is the best case scenario, meaning if you're the worst case scenario, actually, if you can't even jump that well, you have bad technique, you've never trained, you're... You don't even know any of your potential at all. You can make serious gains, just like most of us have experienced beginner gains when it comes to weightlifting. There's a lot to be said for jumping, whether it's technique, using those muscles, jumping consistently. I want to hammer home the tech, the, the point real quick that jumping vertical is trainable just like anything else. And I say that because when I started my dunk journey, I started it because that was the first light bulb that went off because I touched the rim for the first time. Then I hung on the rim for the first time and I said, huh, if I stick with this, I think I can continue to jump higher and higher. And then I got my first dunk and I'm like, there's no limits. And that's where I'm at now. And the journey's taken me all through life about other mental blocks that I've had about what if I, I don't think I can do this. I don't have proof of this, but it's believing in yourself to go for it. Then you start to realize, oh, that was just a thought I had. So that's how we're starting off 2021 with the mindset. Do you believe you can dunk this year, no matter where you're starting at? Do you really truly believe it? Now, if you don't, here's some tips. Think about a random day in 2021. Maybe it's December 31st, the very last day. Think about landing that first dunk, how amazing that would feel, right? Sometimes when you try to do that visualization and think about what it's like to achieve that dunk, you realize, I can't even visualize it. So that's where you need to start. The very first goal for you is to be able to visualize yourself succeeding. And if you can't, because there's times when I couldn't visualize myself landing a specific dunk, I couldn't even visualize myself landing a certain dunk. So I literally, in my mind's eye, I thought about, okay, what about a nine foot six rim, a half foot short? That I could believe, I could see myself doing it. Then I went every inch in my mind, even because I've been on nine nine rims that are three inches short. I thought of those, I'm like, okay, I can do it there. Even though I hadn't done the dunk there, I'm like, I can do it, I can visualize visualize it. It was just my belief. It was something I can get myself to believe. And then it changed my workouts because when I believed it on the nine, nine hoop, I started practicing it. And then I achieved that one. That was the first step. So sometimes we're trying to believe in something that is so hard for us to believe. We don't even take action now. So get a belief about something that is not something you're capable of doing yet and visualize yourself achieving it. And that's your first goal. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So now what do you do? One of the biggest questions I get is how do I know if I do strength and speed? And the reason I get those questions is those are the two pillars of jumping strength and speed. You need to produce power, which is the combination of strength and speed. And you want to increase both ultimately. So I ask myself, how do I help somebody figure out whether they need to work on speed or strength? I always go speed first because most people haven't trained jumping. So I just went on a whole rant about why I think uh, jumping and the belief and all those different things that jumping and the underlying theme of that was that jumping is completely trainable meaning you can improve that. And by knowing that, now you're gonna jump a lot more. If I told you you can lift weights and get stronger, you're gonna lift weights over and over again. When it's running, you're gonna run over and over again. Nobody jumps over and over again consistently and measures every detail because it's hard to measure the vertical where you're touching, right? So that's what I'm saying. Take a point where you can't touch that half an inch out of your reach, right? Have a test day, start today, start right now, go test your vertical. Doesn't matter if you're cold, doesn't matter if you haven't practiced, it's your start day. Set a goal that's a fraction of an inch higher and just test, test and repeat. Give yourself some rest, 
Try some plow metrics. Try to jump explosively. Max out days. Watch my other videos. I have a lot of videos on how to max out your speed, how to use those plow metrics. Just start learning about yourself because all the exercises work. You just need to start using them so you can understand how you feel. So what I mean by that is, do you feel strong but slow or do you feel weak but quick a lot of times we have one or the other because if you were super strong and super quick you'd be flying but if you test yourself on the max test yourself on the standstill get started today testing and writing down everything from a standstill jump i want you to be intuitive i don't want you to just follow a program because the programs end you don't know what you did right or wrong that's not going to help you make the next level progress right the only way to get to the elite levels, which is I hope you want to be at, I don't want you to just get one dunk. I want you to be dunking consistently, dunking in games, dunking with tricks, dunking how you ever you want to be and to transcend in your life. And the only way that's going to happen is if you take note of it, take under understand what you're doing, what stimulus you gave your body, how many times you jumped, what it felt like, compare your technique, record yourself, use the resources that there are on the internet. I have a thousand videos for that, but work on speed, work on the plow metrics, explode, 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 because I think you'll be shocked about how much progress you can make pushing yourself and jumping consistently, recovering properly, and just that alone. Now, if you've been doing that for the more intermediate to advance, maybe it's time you hit a strength phase. Hit a strength phase, commit to about three to four months, but everybody's body's different, that's why I don't like time frames. but think about strengthening yourself to a level just like jumping, you haven't been at yet. So a weight that you can be like, wow, that's definitely significantly higher. Maybe it's about 10% to 20% more than you've ever lifted max wise. And if you've never maxed, now as a strength face is finally start testing your max. Do it consistently because the first day you're gonna not, you don't have a max. You start training, do it a couple times a week, a month goes by, now you're feeling you're in the groove. What's the heaviest thing you could lift? Now that's your baseline. So you just took a month, even two months to even get your baseline of where you're at because now it's part of your routine. Once your body gets accumu- accumulated, acclimated to strength training, now you test your max. Now you're like, okay, I'm going to stick in this strength phase until I get significantly stronger than I've ever been. Because if you just started with the first phase, just learning, those are just the beginner gains. You want to get stronger. You want to get stronger than your, that your body had that already in, in your body. You want to build more strength. Okay. Do that for a c- couple months and then taper off the strength slowly, slowly, slowly and also gradually to do more power, move the weight, lighter weight, faster, faster, lighter weight, lighter weight, faster, faster until you're shifting into more of the speed and plyometric again and you just start taking off. But whatever happens, sometimes you feel like you you took too long in the strength phase. You're only going to know if you do it. But for those, this is more for those people to get their very first dunk in 2021. Start practicing lobs, practice on the low rims, practice the timing, push yourself, don't just do low rims, try to do inch by inch by inch. Set these goals that are progress goals towards the final dunk. So if you can't dunk 10 feet, can you hang on the rim? If you can't hang on the rim, can you touch the rim? If you can't touch the rim, how, where are you? Get detailed about where you are now, set that first tiny goal and use all aspects of it. Okay, I can't touch the rim, but I can uh, touch the backboard or whatever it is, whatever it is vertical wise. Do your standstill, do your running, do your max approach, do your one step approach, two step approach. Then how are you recovering? How many days a week can you feel energized? Is it once every two weeks you feel that bounce? How do I get twice every two weeks? How do I get twice a week? How do I feel bouncy three times a week? Because if you're feeling bouncy three times a week, now you're getting more attempts to make your vertical go higher and push yourself higher than you've ever gone. And you're making progress faster because you've learned about your recovery. How are you sleeping? How are you eating? How are you moving your body? Meaning the movement is the jump days, is the recovery days. Are you getting good blood flow? Are you treating your body properly? Are you staying balanced, jumping off different plants? This is a ton of information. I just ranted at you for almost 10 minutes. I hope that was helpful. But listen, that's how much it takes. But there's all the resources there. You know what to do. You want to feel healthy. You want to feel strong. You want to feel fast. Okay. 
Take note of how you feel in those areas and get to freaking work. That's the main thing. Because if you start right now and you gather all that data for a week's worth of training, you, you're way ahead than if you just went to jump today. Think about that. All those things I just mentioned. Okay, I'm going to end it here with a blueprint for you to start training yourself. So I want you to have a couple jump days a week, maybe two max jump days a week. On the other days, I want you to take note of your body. Is there any pain? Is there any imbalances where one leg was more sore than the others? And I also want you to add in a stretch and recovery day. I want you to treat recovery more important than the jump days because if you can stay healthy, you can continuously train without any setbacks and you're always taking steps forward. And even when you, you fall or you make a mistake or you get injured, it's still a step forward because you learn about something that was off. It's not that you did anything wrong. It's just there was an imbalance or you overtrained. But I want you to avoid that. So you're gonna learn about your body two jump days a week, practice lobs. If you have access to a low rim, practice that for your finishing, but simply set a goal that's a fraction out of an inch higher than you can touch right now. So you're gonna start days, you're gonna make take a measurement and then go hard to reach it and keep crushing tiny, tiny goals. And then the mindset is tiny, tiny goals, Believe you're going to get at this, visualize it with journaling, all these different techniques, which I can go over if you're interested in, to visualize and do all these journaling techniques to manifest and really get your self-belief strengthened. Visualize yourself achieving these goals, believe it, and go hard every single day. Now focus all your attention on that tiny goal right in front of you. Crush that, and if you can do that, that's it. That's the game. You keep making tiny bits of progress. You're not trying to make an inch progress. You're not trying to go from not touching to dunking. You're just going for the fraction of an inch and you can definitely do it by 2021 if you start right now. Hope that was helpful. Please leave your questions below. Please let me know if you get that first dunk. Nothing makes me happier to see you guys achieve your goals. I know what it means. It means more than just dunking. It means something that you transformed your life. You turned a dream into a reality, and that's what it's about. <coughs> Have a good year. Let's go.